Hey folks, I got a new feature I want to show you. It is the new feed rate override, which I have been craving for years. Now it's available for Tiny G. You'll notice um, it's, uh, well, here I'll show you what happens. When I connect to the Tiny G, you'll notice down here a little feed rate override pops in. You'll also notice, by the way, that there's a char mode, character mode that pops in that shows you the character mode buffer. But this video is more about the feed rate override. You can now slide this little guy around all the way up to 10x, all the way down to 0 0.05, hit the 1x to jump back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a job started here to then kind of walk you through it. So I'm going to hit play, upload my lines. Now just to give you an idea uh, what this file is, this is from our friend Brandon Satterfield at... Um, who, who does SMW3D, and he um, he sent me these files a while ago to test out because these are the files that he uses to cut his ox aluminum gantry plates. So I'm going to zoom in and show you what's going on here and show you how convenient it would be for, say, Brandon to use the feed rate override. So you see he's going really slow. He's actually at a feed rate of 5. When he goes around it, he's at a feed rate of 170. You can always see that feed rate right here. These are very slow moves. You can see the CNC machine going there and how slow those moves are. It makes sense, though, because he's milling aluminum. But let's say he starts to feel a little bit confident. He could jump it to, say, a 1.2. And then you'll notice it's still at feed rate of 5, even though I switched it. And this is one of the reasons I wanted to make the video is um, just to make you understand that it takes a little bit. See, now we're at a feed rate of 6. It takes a little bit for this change to kick in because you have the planner buffer that's got 32 slots in it. And you have the character mode buffer, which is 255 characters. All of those are already buffered. Uh, you can't touch them once they're in there. And so you have to let those get processed until your new lines have the new feed rate. So remember, it's serial port JSON server actually doing the calculating. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and um, tap this once with the mouse. And now I'm using the keyboard. And I'm hitting the right arrow. And notice I'm just slowly working my way up. And I'm going to go to 1.5 and just see uh, if you imagine I'm actually milling aluminum, I'd have to kind of do the listen test to see if I'm happy with the chatter, the size of the chips coming off. Um, so now I'm at 7.5, so finally my my speed kicked in. You can kind of hear it on the stepper motors that that speed kicked in a little bit more. Let's say I'm even getting a little bit more um, confident. I'll, I'll go to 1.75. Let's maybe up it to 2. So I should be at a feed rate of 10 once I'm doing those longer paths, once it kicks in. Uh, again, it's like a good, there we go, feed rate of 10. It does depend on your G code how quickly it kicks in or not. This one's kicking in a lot faster than maybe you'll see because these little swirls are done with G1 moves, not G2 or G3 arcs. Um, now, you can hit the 1x to jump back to normal speed. That's why I put the 1x button there. Uh, but let's say later in the job, because notice this is like a 13, 12-hour job. Let's say later in the job you're actually worried that your, your end mills maybe gotten a little bit dull. You could tap this oops, and start nudging downward uh, to 0.9. Uh, or let's even say maybe 0.8, you know, because we're extra concerned. Uh, let's wait till that kicks in. Uh, you know, you get the idea. Uh, a while ago, uh, somebody told me that when they were using Mach 3, they could do this, and that once you had access to feed rate override in the middle of a job, it was indispensable and you never wanted to go back to anything else. So, my hope is that you guys now find feed rate override to be indispensable. Uh, and that chili pepper becomes even that much stronger of a tool in your arsenal. Uh, and, and please, everybody, you know, the goal is to get this to be the Linux of CNC um, with respect to a GUI interface. Um, 
please keep contributing and give lots of great feedback. Thanks.